back. It's time for In Case You Missed It. A reminder that cheaters never prosper. A fishing tournament made headlines a couple of weeks ago when two fishermen were accused of stuffing their catch with lead sinkers. And now they've been charged on multiple felony counts, including attempted grand theft, possessing criminal tools, and misdemeanor charges of unlawfully owning wild animals. The prize they lost out on more than $28,000. Emily, um, we indict these guys on felonies, but not the guys who are killing people and doing things like that. Totally. The horrible double standard aside, um, this is a real deal, and they should absolutely be prosecuted for this. Imagine if this type of betting and gambling um, manipulation had occurred in any other industry, right? People would have been up in arms. So the fact that, too, it was so traceable and palpable, that video is amazing as they're slicing open the fish and, like, whole weights are coming out. And these guys have been champions of a lot of prior tournaments. So, yes, absolutely, I'm glad they were finally caught. Cheaters never prosper. I mean, wow. Pete, who does this? <laughs> this is crazy. A lot of people. But, uh, <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> in different Do you? contexts. No, but I love I love something like this, a smaller industry with a high le high ethos of integrity. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's like we do this and we do it right and we do it well <laughs> and if you're gonna cheat, we're gonna hold you accountable. Yeah. We need a lot more of that in Stuff a lot of other bigger wins. industries. That's what we do. Uh, I will. No, I mean I <laughs> I thought it was kind of brilliant. Like, I was surprised that more people hadn't done this before. I was like, yeah, I put the weights inside. But then I realized, like, it was $28,000. So when I go to the state fair, I shove a bunch of weights in my cargo <laughs> pants. <laughs> so the weight guesser is off by a good 20 pounds. Oh, that's very brilliant. Or it's Oh, maybe I'm an outlier here. I do think they went to incredible lengths to do this. Um, and I don't think they should get the prize money. And they should be made an example out of. But felony charges to me seems like a, a lot for this, especially <laughs> Chaley in the environment. I agree. Where there's a lot more going on and we could prosecute other crimes in court. I, you know, that's my personal thing. There's sure. room for multiple prosecutions. I, I have to say one of the reasons <laughs> why they knew that yeah. why, there was, <laughs> why it was suspicious is everyone else donates their fish to the food banks. And uh, these guys wouldn't because they knew that the, the weight sum was there. paltry. Exactly. And they don't want people eating lead. Good for them. That's <laughs> nice of them, I guess. All right, climate activists.